Australia to receive first NASAMS missiles from Kongsberg in 2022. The first three Mk-2 canister launchers for the Australian Army's future Enhanced National Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System NASAMS, capability are expected to arrive in-country in April, following the completion of factory acceptance tests at the Kongsberg Defence and Aerospace Facility in Kongsberg, Norway from October to December 2021. Approved in March 2017 as the preferred solution for the Australian Department of Defence's DOD, LAN-19 Phase 7B requirement, Enhanced NASAMS will deliver a tactical mobile ground-based air defence, GBAD, system that will replace the Australian Army's legacy RBS-70 man portable short-range air defence system. LAN-19 Phase 7B is being delivered by the prime contractor Raytheon Australia, with the support of Kongsberg Defence and Aerospace and Kongsberg Defence Australia. The factory acceptance tests represent a critical production milestone for Project LAN-19 Phase 7B, paving the way for the initial shipment of MK2CLs to Australia and integration with the enhanced NASAMS architecture. The tests verified that the system meets the stated specification requirements and the NASAMS CL are ready for further integration and testing at the higher system level, a Kongsberg Defence Australia spokesperson said. NASAMS Missile System NASAMS was introduced into service by Royal Norwegian Air Force in the 1990s as a replacement for the Norwegian Hawk system. It utilizes a launcher system produced by Norwegian company Kongsberg and primarily fires AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missiles, AMROM, produced by Raytheon. The AMROM is primarily used by Western fighter aircraft for air-to-air -air combat. NASAMS is currently in service with the armed forces of several nations, including, but not limited to, Norway, Finland, the Netherlands, Spain, and the United States. In addition, Indonesia, India, Hungary and Oman are currently in the process of acquiring the system. Land 197B Project Land 197B, L197B, is the project title for the procurement of an upgrade to Australia's air defence capability. 16 ALR, as the stewards of Army's air defense capability replacing currently equipped with a very short-range air defense capability through the RBS-70. Due to the limited time frame, it has been decided that a system that is already fully operational would best suit Australia's needs, hence the choice of NASAMS. To augment current NASAMS capabilities, the ADF, in concert with CEA Technologies, intends to develop an active electronically scanned array, AESA radar to be used as fire control radar for AMROM missiles. Equipment has already started arriving at 16 ALR in preparation for receiving NASAMS with introduction of capability, IOC, scheduled for 2023 and final operating capability, FOC, circa 2025. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube and Instagram.